Hi, this is Brad Smith from Beersmith.com. I'm going to talk a little bit about transitioning from Beersmith 1 to Beersmith 2. Specifically, I'm going to talk about how to transition your files. Now, one of the first things you can do uh, when you first open Beersmith, it's actually going to run the import wizard. And I'm going to run it manually here from the file menu just to show you what it does. But the very first time you run Beersmith, it'll actually run this automatically. Uh, particularly if you're on a PC version. If you're on the Mac, it won't do this automatically, but you can... Uh, you can actually manually transition your files over, and we'll talk about how to do that in a minute to the Mac. Uh, but you can see I've got the Beersmith 1 import wizard here, and what it does is it actually searches your, your entire computer and tries to find the most recent uh, version of Beersmith that it can find. So if you have a previously installed version, hopefully it'll find it. Uh, in this case, it did find my program files Beersmith uh, directory, and it's going to allow me to import recipes and equipment from this directory. I can also go here and select a different directory to import from. So, for example, let's say I've got a recipe.bsm file uh, from Beersmith 1 somewhere else. I could import those directly from here. And, of course, you can, you can, if you choose, not import anything. Now, if you import the recipes, what happens is it'll import the recipes. It'll move those over. It'll import the equipment over as well. So if you have equipment settings from Beersmith 1, those will get imported as well. And it does the best that it can to import your uh, inventory over. Now, it doesn't always grab all of your inventory because if you've added a lot of custom ingredients, uh, you may need to add those in before you try and use the importer because it won't find any matches for those ingredients and it'll, it'll tell you how many it couldn't find. But you have an option of either uh, moving those over ahead of time or waiting and uh, moving those over manually at a later time. So that's the quick, quick overview of the import wizard. Now, the other way to import Beersmith files is, uh, is actually manually. I'm going to show you how to do that as well. So I'm going to close Beersmith 2, or minimize it. I'm going to open up Beersmith 1. And let's say we've got a handful of recipes here in my brew log from Beersmith 1. And I want to grab those and manually import them over. And it turns out Beersmith 2 will read all of the Beersmith 1 files, even if you're on the Macintosh platform. So any BSM file that you export from Beersmith 1, you can import into Beersmith 2. So I'm going to take my brew log, and I'm going to export that from Beersmith 2 using the export command. So I go to File, and Export As. I'm going to say All Items in the Current View. I'm going to export it as a Beersmith file format. And I'm going to save it to, uh, let's save it to my desktop, in this case. And I'm going to save it to the file uh, Brew Log. And there we go. Push OK. So I just exported that to a Beersmith 1 file. Now I'm going to bring Beersmith 2 back, and I'm going to import that file. And this also works on the Mac, so you can export your files on the PC and uh, move them over and import them on the Mac. But I'm going to use the open command to open up my files. I'm going to go to my desktop and find the one that I just exported, which is called uh, brewlog.bsm. I'm going to open that up. And lo and behold, there's the recipes I just uh, exported. If I want to drag those over, I can drag them over into my recipes folder, for example. Or I can copy and paste them. Uh, in this case, uh, I may want, to, may want to just copy and paste them. So I'm just going to select all those recipes. Do a copy command. Go over to my recipes and paste them in, because right now they're still in a separate file. And you can see I've got them all listed here. You can obviously paste them into a subfolder as well. And then I'll go back and just close the old file. It'll ask me if I want to save it. I'm going to say no. So uh, you can import and export. You can actually export Beersmith 2, Beersmith 1 files from Beersmith 2 as well. So there's, there's full interoperability with anybody that has a Beersmith 1 copy to somebody that has a Beersmith 2 file. Uh, and that's how you import and export files using Beersmith 2. If you'd like to learn more about homebrewing, or if you're interested in getting a free trial copy of Beersmith 2, you can go to our website at beersmith.com.